I'm Alok Srivastava, head of the Center for Stem Cell Research, or CSCR, which is the translational unit of the DBT Institute for Stem Cell Science and Regenerative Medicine based at Bangalore. As CSCR is a partnership with the Christian Medical College, Bellore, we are located at Bellore, Tamil Nadu. The Center for Stem Cell Research provides a unique environment for clinical and basic scientists to seamlessly work together in teams with a thematic research focus. Currently, these include musculoskeletal regeneration, gene therapy for hematological disorders, and applications of the induced pluripotent stem cell technology to stem cell research. In all these areas, scientists at CSCR working with many collaborators have developed novel approaches to several human diseases, some of which have already been taken to clinical trials. I invite all those interested in finding out more about our work to visit the CSCR website for further details. On this Stem Cell Awareness Day, the second Wednesday of October 2022, I would like to mention some of the advances that we have made in developing gene therapy for hereditary blood diseases, which have major unmet needs in our country. For hemophilia, a hereditary bleeding disorder due to deficiency of factor eight or nine in the blood, we have developed gene therapy through two approaches. The first using the adeno-associated vector carrying a novel factor IX transgene for hemophilia B, where proof of concept studies have been com completed. This awaits production of GMP grade vector to initiate clinical trials. The second is a lentiviral vector with a unique factor VIII transgene for gene therapy of hemophilia A. Here we have actually initiated the first clinical trial in the world using this technology. It is also the first gene therapy clinical trial for any genetic disorder to be conducted in India. Another major area of focus for developing gene therapy is for the major hemoglobin disorders, both beta thalassemia major and sickle cell disease. Here again, we have completed proof of concept studies with two different approaches. The first, a lentiviral vector-based approach to add a beta or gamma globin gene or modify existing genes. And second, a gene editing approach using both the CRISPR-Cas9 as well as the base editing approaches to enhance hemoglobin production in these diseases. We are developing collaborations with industry in India to take these technologies to clinical trials very soon. Products developed through some of these technologies have just received market authorization in Europe and USA this year, but cost nearly 15 to 20 crore rupees per dose. With indigenous development of similar products, as I have mentioned earlier, through support received predominantly from the Department of Biotechnology of the Government of India, we are confident that they can be made available in India at much lower cost to many patients who need them in our country.